rather hit a golf? Get on course at the Albury Commercial Golf Club. Hit News Briefing. Hi, I'm James Royce. I reckon the Prime Minister's a bit over being asked to condemn the behaviour of John Setka, who's threatening to disrupt AFL projects because Stephen McBurney is the umpire's boss. I think I just did, in case you weren't noticing, as I did yesterday, as I did the day before. Now, the CFMEU leader's beef with McBurney is he was once the building and construction watchdog. Anthony Albanese says it's none of Setka's business. The jury in the double murder trial of Gregory Lynn has retired for the weekend. They'll reconvene on Monday to decide if the former Jetstar pilot is guilty of murdering campers Russell Hill and Carol Clay in Victoria's high country back in 2020. He's pleaded not guilty, claiming their deaths were accidental. One of the so-called Teal independents who snatched a seat off the libs at the last election looks like she will lose her seat. Kylie Tink holds the federal seat of North Sydney, but the Electoral Commission has decided it wants it gone. Police are investigating a vandal attack at the Australian War Memorial. CCTV has captured a man spraying pro-Palestinian slogans on three sections of the building early this morning. That graffiti has since been covered by a tarp. Combank expects the RBA to stay on the sidelines and leave rates steady when it meets next week. That's despite inflation being higher than we'd hoped for. And former Olympic swimmer Scott Miller is set to walk free from prison next week. The silver medalist has been serving time for drug offences, but he's now been approved for parole. Make Australia's best-selling compact SUV yours today. Get that new car feeling for less in a brand new MG ZS from just $22,990 drive away. Hurry into your local MG today. Port coach Ken Hinckley denies that being dropped means it's career over for Charlie Dixon, but says the big forward needs to refine his form. We thought what we've done for Charlie gave him a great chance to be successful, but his form hasn't been where it needs to be. You know, he's he's really honest. You don't have to worry about Charlie. Doggy skipper Barker's sponsor Pelly is battling flu-like symptoms ahead of tomorrow's clash with the Dockers. Collingwood's Nick Dacos has been cleared of a corked shin and will face the ruse on Sunday. And round 14 starts tonight in Brisbane with the Lions at home to the Saints. Listen to Hit on Listener. Download the app, then stream on your mobile, computer and smart speaker. This is Hit Weather. Mostly cloudy conditions for the rest of Friday around the border. Tonight, down to a low of 4 degrees and tomorrow, mostly cloudy with a high of 16 degrees. And uncover well-kept secrets and true stories with Listener. Download the app and search Uncover.